This video is going to show you how to remove and install grips on a bicycle using an air compressor. You might say, well that's a pretty simple tip, why would you make a video on that? Well, when someone showed me this tip years ago, it saved me so much time and effort in putting these grips on and off. I used to use hairspray to put the grips on, which worked okay, but if it ever got wet, it would cause the grip to come loose. Also, I would use glue at times, and that's pretty messy and really hard to get the grip off. Using an air compressor puts the grip on really easily and it just stays secure. Now obviously this does not apply to lock-on grips that use collars because those you would just turn some screws to take the, uh, the grips on and off. So this is for rubber type grips and also foam grips. So what you want to do is, is put the grip on as far as you can with just your hand and sometimes you'll get some air built up in there and you can actually slide that on. Then Peel back the grip and put the air nozzle underneath as far as you can and push on the grip while releasing the air. And there you go. It is on there really secure. I cannot twist this grip unless I just use a ton of effort. Now when doing the second grip, you actually have to hold the other one on and I usually just prop it up against me because if you don't, it'll the air pressure will actually shoot the one that you already have installed off the bike. So I'm pushing the other one against my belly here. And again, I'm gonna push this one on as much as I can and then put the, uh, the nozzle underneath. And then again, pushing this up against my belly, I'm just gonna push this one on as I release the air. And there you go, both grips are installed. Removing the grip is pretty much the same procedure just put the nozzle underneath the grip as much as you can and while you're releasing the air, pull it off. Foam grips can be a bear to install and I've actually tried to do this without air and it took me like half an hour. So I'm going to attempt to do this when these, when they're new, are just really, really stiff. So again, I've put this on as far as I can. I'm going to open up the grip, try to stick this air nozzle under there as best I can and then give it a shot. So that is on, and that's a lot harder than a rubber grip, but the air makes it so much easier. I've tried to use hairspray on these, and I mean, I wrestled that thing, like I said, for like half an hour. So there you go, it's, it's really on there well. I like the foam grips, by the way, because of the way they feel. They're really light. Uh, once you get them on, they are on. Uh, and they feel great. So there's my maintenance tip for you which hopefully will save you a lot of time and effort and sweat in putting grips on and off a bicycle. Now one thing nice about this tip is it's because it's so easy to get the rubber ones on and off when they start to just get a little bit of play in them maybe you got some sweat in there or some rain water or whatever it's really easy to get them off dry it out with the air compressor and then put the rubber ones back on. The foam ones I found just stay put they even when you get them wet they just don't move. But if they do, you can pull it off, use the same technique, and put them back on. Thanks for watching.